Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. Well, I bought myself a new toy for my kitchen. It's a donut pan. And the weird thing is, I rarely eat donuts. I never buy donuts. I'm just, donuts aren't part of my life. But I just sort of thought it was a really cute pan. And it was on sale. And these are obviously baked donuts as opposed to fried. So when you compare the two, it's practically a health food. So the only thing I had to do was come up with my dream donut. And that's what I've done. <laughs> if you're a coffee lover. Doesn't coffee and cream donuts sound great? Well, we're going to start over here. We're going to use the food processor. And it looks like I have a million ingredients out here. But really, these are all things that you probably already have in your cupboard. I have four tablespoons of salted butter that I softened. I'm going to add a third of a cup of vegetable oil. and a half a cup each of both brown and regular sugar. And we'll blend that. Now we're going to add two eggs. Blend those in. Okay. Now some dry ingredients. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. One. One half. A scant quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Three tablespoons of instant coffee. Sort of heaping there. A little bit of salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That gets combined. I'll give the bowl a scrape. Now I'm going to add two and three quarter cups of flour, which is that, and also three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm going to kind of alternate it. I'm going to put some flour in first then the milk. Give that a spin. Add the rest of my flour. And that's it. I very lightly buttered my donut pan. What I'm going to do is put the batter in and you want to take it up to about where it's three quarters full. And that's okay if it's a little bit messy because when it cooks it'll even out. Let's see. Looks pretty good. This one's a little short. These go in a hot oven, 425 degrees, for just 10 minutes. Look! 
I made donuts. You have to let these rest in the pan for about five to seven minutes. Now we're going to make this really creamy frosting while the donuts are cooling down. So I have one and a quarter cups of confectioner's sugar. I'm going to add one tablespoon of light corn syrup. That just helps with the consistency of it. A tablespoon of melted butter. Three tablespoons of heavy cream. And just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just blend all this together. Comes right out of the pan. You know, some people like to make their frosting thinner, like an icing, and so you can just dip them like that. But I wanted it because these are coffee and cream. I wanted this creamy icing over the top, a little thicker. So you just put it on with a knife. And then top it off with, with just a pinch of instant coffee. Like that. So I'm going to frost my six donuts. And by the way, I made enough batter for 18 donuts because you can freeze them. So I'll always have homemade donuts for when people stop by. So I'll just see you later. Look at this. I'm so excited. Coffee and cream donuts. Now I get to try one. Mmm. These are really good. And I don't miss them not being deep fried. I think they taste like great donuts. The coffee flavor comes through strong. That creamy frosting goes perfectly with it. Think of all the cool flavor combinations you could do with homemade donuts. And I can't wait to make these with my granddaughter. So there you go. New toy for the kitchen. Try it out. Thank you.